<laughs> I didn't do no anything. No laughing. Are you ready? Yes. All right, give me an action. Action. Welcome back, Salty Boys. It's Daniel. A while back, we made a video on the brand new boat we have right here, the 1985 Ocean 46 Sport Fisher. And I owe you guys an engine room tour, so come on over here. So right here, we have the engine room hatch. We're gonna go ahead and lift that guy up. So we're headed down in the engine room. Nice little cozy spot down here. And we'll start off right here. You got your steps down. I keep spare oil and coolant down there. You have a little reverso pump. This is for oil changes. It'll pump oil out and then pump it right back in. Back here, you guys are gonna notice the space right here. Right here, we have some things we were doing some cleaning with, but this is where the generator sits. You have your exhaust hookup. You have your Raycor fuel filter, and then you have all the wiring. And this connects to the boat's main electrical harness that goes up into the panel. These are the Detroit Diesels 671 TIB. They're 485 horsepower each with a length of 79 inches, width of 47 inches, and a height of 41 inches. It weighs over 2,200 pounds each. Compare that to a Chevy small block V8, which weighs about 620 pounds, and is only 28 by 22 by 30 inches. So center line, we have our port engine over here and our starboard engine over here. Outboard of each of those engines are our fuel tanks. Here's the port fuel tank. There's the starboard fuel tank. And that helps us hold 600 gallons of fuel. We have our battery storage and we have our battery charger feeds into there. On the engines, we have just the main engine component here. Like this is your throttle right here. Push down the throttle, pulls back, and you have more fuel going in the end. Down here, you have your alternator. This is what generates power for your batteries while you're running, just like on a car. Here is a oil filter. These things are massive. Right here, we have the intercooler. Takes the air out from the turbo, cools it, puts it back into the engine, and it gives you some more power. You have your starter solenoid and starter right there. Coming to the back of the engine, you have your exhaust coming out right here. Big exhaust. You have your turbo, and you have your air filter right here. This air filter is bad. I'm getting ready to remove it. As you can see, it's dirty and it's collapsed in. Bad filter. Right here, you have a Raycor fuel filter. So this is a regular car filter size. It's not from a car, but this is about the size on a car filter. This is the size of a Raycor fuel filter. These filters have to be able to pump a lot of fuel through them because these pumps pump 70 gallons an hour through them. And whatever the engine does not use, it just goes right back into the tank. So you might not use 70 gallons an hour, but that's how much you pump it through it. Right here is where the transmission starts. This is a capital transmission, 1.5 to one gear ratio. And this is where all the shifting happens. So whenever you're shifting the controls, this is what moves on both sides. All right, now you guys have seen a little bit about the engine, let's fire him up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the engine room tour. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment what you guys wanna see next. And as always, stay salty.